Hey, Karen here of Jack and Karen, online marketers extraordinaire. I am here today to share with you um, something that I think you'll find interesting and helpful. A friend of mine just started a fan page and she put a wonderful graphic on her fan page asking everyone to go check out their website and I when I clicked on the image it didn't bring me anywhere now the website was shown on the image but um, I just kind of reached out to her and said hey you know if you'd like to learn how to make your images clickable so people are brought directly to your website I can teach you how to do that and she expressed a great degree of enthusiasm and interest in learning how to do that so I thought I'd go ahead and make a little training video for her and um, anyone else who's interested so I'm gonna cut off the camera here I'll pull up my desktop and show you how to do that okay so <clears throat> first of all here's the image that I saw earlier today um, from my friends uh, fan page learn how to earn money while volunteering and there's the website and i thought well i wonder if i can click on this and be brought to it and that didn't work click on it it just shows the image again so um ideally what we want is uh, something clickable that will bring us directly to this website now i went and did a trial run it's been a while since i've done this um i did it for my own fan page and i'm going to show you what i came up with it's not quite the same thing it's not big like this but um, it's effective. Uh oh, what's happening here? All right, so what I did, and here's a post on my fan page. Here's an image that I could have put up. It may have been otherwise not clickable, but um, I'm going to show you how to use an image. It's smaller, but then it's clickable and will bring you to the web page you want it to. So, for example, I'm going to click here. And it's going to bring us to a web page that I linked it to. There it is. I turn that off. Okay, so this is what I'm going to teach you how to make this, where you can post it on your fan page, click it, it'll bring you to, it'll bring the viewer to whatever web page you want them to go to. All right, so there's a couple things you need to have in place before you get started. The first thing that you want to do is to pull up the web page that you want your image to go to. Now, in this case, for the um, this tutorial, I want it to go to this web page right here. All right, and it's going to bring the viewers to this video. Okay, so this is where I'm trying to take my viewers. Now, I want an image that they can click on that would go right here. So I already did some of that legwork and I found an image that I want to use and I need to get that uh, image uploaded online and so you're going to need to do that so you need to get your image uploaded online which I'm going to show you in a minute you want to have the web page you want them to go to up and ready to copy and then you also want to pull up social media bar that will allow you to create this nifty little post here that is clickable. All right, so let's start with the image and get that ready. You want to open a photo bucket account if you don't have one. It's free. I have one, and once you have photo bucket, you can go to tinypick.com. It's connected to photo bucket and use that to create uh, an image code, which is something that you will need. So here I am at Tiny Pick. I'm going to show you how this works, hopefully. Um, let's upload more. That was from the last one we did. All right, so you just hit Browse. Look for the image that you want to include. And, all right, this is the one that I chose, so I'm going to double click that and pull it in. And hit upload now and then I have to pass this little to show them that a robot test what do I have to do please help us find some follow the instructions with our widget click to reveal security code all right 
All right, I guess. Uh, please enter the code. There we go. Cleans better. Isn't this clever? Clever, clever, clever. Wow. Talk about multi-purposing. All right, here we go. All right, so my image now has all of these codes. I hope I'm not seeing my image, but anyway, these are the codes for that particular image. Um, what I want is the image code. Okay, so I have this ready and waiting. Okay, I have the web page that I wanted to go to ready and waiting here to copy. My next step is to go to social media bar. Just type in socialmediabar.com and pull that up. And this is what you will use to create this lovely sort of a post. All right, so I'm at social media bar. Now, what you're doing is creating framed content. Um, you can fill in all these fields and it looks overwhelming maybe to you, but it's not. Your URL slug simply means that, um, these are, you want to put words here that kind of speak to what um, your clickable link is about, and it will become part of the name of, um, oh, how do I explain it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Just put some words in here that people might type in in Google um, that might bring them to your link. So here I'm going to put, for example, um, join team take passive action. That's what I want people to do, and that's what the web um, link is about that they're going to be brought to. So that makes sense. All right. Now, the destination URL is the website you want them to go to. That's why I had this ready. I highlight that, copy it and put it here as my destination URL. Now, um, page title. All right, so I want to kind of speak to what Team Pick Massive Action is. Hmm. You know what, I think I'm going to give it some shorter. Internet success, that's what you'll get for Team Pick Massive Action. And then a description. All right, what are we? We are an inner circle community of entrepreneurs and online marketers. Okay. Now, for you, whatever it may be, you want to put here um, just something that speaks to what it's about. Then you want to copy in the web page you want um, your viewers to go to when they click the link. Give it, uh, give the page a title that speaks to what it's about and a little description. All right, now here's where you're going to put the clickable image in. And I already showed you, I pulled it, uh, um, uploaded on a tiny pic off of my desktop and it provided me with an image code. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to put it in here for the image URL. Now, you don't want anything in brackets, so I'm going to have to delete that bracketed IMG image and this. Now that's my URL. Now I'm going to create the link, hopefully. All right, apparently, okay, now this happens sometimes. That URL slug has already been taken. Of course it has. Um, what else could I say? Join our team. Um, let's see. How about join Jack and Jimmy? See what happens. Great. Okay. 
Okay, sometimes it takes a minute or two. All right, now here's our link. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to my Facebook fan page and post it. Wow, this is not good. I may just need to close out of that for a minute and pull it back up. Alright. Now, ta da! Now here's the deal. To make a cleaner post, you can now that this is populated here, delete this. And it just looks cleaner. I'm going to hit post. One thing I was concerned about is that's not too bad. There's a lot going on in this image for such a small space. I was a little apprehensive about using it. However, it, you know, it's okay. You can read it. Questions about tinted massive action. Um, ideally, you want a clean, clear, crisp, um, uncrowded image, you know, that, that really pops and catches people's attention. Anyway, now let me show you. Let me click on this. Ta da! It goes to that page that I wanted it to, which I'm now going to close. So there you have it, how to make a clickable link in Facebook. Uh, please don't hesitate. Let me know if you have any questions. I would be very glad to answer them. I hope this was helpful to you. Have a wonderful day.